Scott's, uh, they're going to stick to their characters. So Scott, age old nest main, but he's been using a lot of Falcon and Fox lately. And Rocket known for his Puff and Falcon. Ooh, um, but off. just, he hates the Fox matchup so much that he's pretty much picked up Kirby just for it. Wow. Yeah, Rocket uh, seems to have a lot of characters under his belt. Um, oh yeah, he's definitely uh, just a wild card with uh, who he's going to use. And he's all about the counter picking too. Yeah, you can't really prepare for him very much, can you? He's got a double blind and pray. <laughs> all right, so we get a shield break here. Interesting, well, I mean, it was probably a good idea for the punish, but uh, Scoville's, or sorry, Scoback's uh, DI, very good in that situation. And uh, let's go back in a pretty bad position, but somehow getting away with it. Not a trade he wants, though. I love that Fox at B, man. The drift. The drift is great, but, you know, yeah. you, got, you got to get out of percent where the drift actually helps. Yeah. And Upper's not going to kill, but it was a good move. Yeah. Uh, got Rocket uh, Got rocket out of the space, you know. Yeah. Um, Scott Pride. Yep. There light hit two. Up. Smash. Classic KO on Kirby. I love that. I love just running up to them, knowing that there's nothing they can do. <laughs> just, uh, just smash. I love that. It's like, how fast can I do this 100 meter dash to that was, kick? Wow, you know? great recovery by, from Sko back there. The, the shine stall there, and then uh, up being to the side rather than up. Uh, oh, and uh, Kirby. Oh, gets that extra little damage. He probably knew that he was done. Yeah. Uh, um, I think Foxes, uh, in general, they they kind they're aware whenever. They're just in such a terrible position, especially Ooh. against Kirby. And that's a trade you want. Kirby with the up B, but still without a jump. Okay. And just keeping it so simple. Oh, no. Mm. Okay. Doesn't quite get what he wants, but I liked everything up until that point. And uh, Rocket just hanging out the up tilts now, uh, kind of forcing Scott to deal with it. Scott knowing that uh, the forward tilt will either trade or just beat out the up tilt in between. All right. Goes to the up smash. That's a very good decision there. Kirby yeah. Just helpless. Despite the uh, stock uh, deficit, I think uh, Skobak has been playing a lot better. Absolutely. He kind of figured out what he was doing wrong and adjusted mid-match. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be a little bit too late. Yeah. Do you think he's going to stay Fox in game two? Um, he might switch. Uh, he does have a puff, which I think that he would use for it. I actually um, saw his puff the other night. It was pretty good. I, it was difficult to beat, honestly. Um, he, I don't know. Do you think he's gonna go with Ness? Um, it's well, a really bad matchup, but sometimes being more comfortable is better. I think he's like kind of left his Ness at home this tournament. Like um, before we left, we had that crew battle, and yeah. uh, you know. He lost to one of our players he doesn't play very much, and he's like, eh, I'm just going to leave him on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That was uh, that was not very fun for a score back. They have not though. Ooh. But we do have the Falcon Dittos. Okay. Which I think both, uh, like, Michigan has a sort of complex with Falcon Dittos, I think. And just <laughs> despite no one, for a while, it felt like no one main Falcon, but everyone did Falcon Dittos, you know? <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, Oh, he goes for the third. <laughs> <laughs> Just a ton of lift grabs oh, here. There we go. More forward smashes. Oh, no. What is he doing? I paid off. Wow, okay. All right. <laughs> what is he doing? All right. No. <laughs> if Skobat can't win, he's going to try to disrespect you either way. Absolutely. Ooh. And, and he makes it back. Worth it. No. <laughs> Rocket might pay for that, Ooh. but giving him the uh, forward smash right back. <laughs> it's right. just two buddies having fun. Yes. You know? I'm glad this is happening. All right. Ooh, the weak nair. Nice recovery from the pink falcon. Yep. I believe that would be Rocket. It matches the shirt, you know? Yeah, <laughs> of course. And I'm sure there's some uh, good hairstyle under that helmet, too. <laughs> uh, waits out the tech in place, uh, which Rocket generally likes to do. Oh! And <laughs> Rocket avoiding the Falcon Punch. Uh, but dying. But trading for death, yep. The fear, the fear is absolute. All right. And this should be an easy combo. Oh, come on, don't standard him. All right. 
Oh, it, he was thinking about it. He's like, I really just want a Falcon Punch here, but I just, I don't think it's the right percent. Hmm. Oh, nice Falcon Kick. Yeah, just covering all that space uh, where Scott wanted to run away. Uh, Scott really zoning in now. Falcon Kick, one of those moves that it's kind of good, but when you think about it, everything beats it. Everything beats it, but it's quick, right? It's quick. quick and it covers a lot of ground. Yeah. So if the opponent isn't ready for it, it doesn't matter if everything beats it. They're just going to get hit by it. Absolutely. I think more players should just uh, try to shield against it because it forces that slow slide, you know? Yeah. Oh, and that was it. Started talking for two seconds and another stock. Yeah. And Skoback makes it even against Rocket. <laughs> So Skoback gets the uh, does not get the counter pick. Rocky gets the counter pick, and that's that's his bread and butter. And so. back to Kirby, yeah. Oof. Like Rocket likes to play that game of the blind character pick, try to get that early advantage, and uh, if he can work it to a game three counter pick, that's all he really needs. Yeah. Dropping games for him, like he's gonna risk that every time if it means him getting the set. Oh. And just throwing out every up tilt, forcing Skoback to uh, adjust to it, and just not quite able to. Just quick and easy from Rocket here. Somebody might look at that and go, that's not fair, but that's our game. <laughs> I think Skobak kind of ran into that a little bit. Ooh, I like the downer opt. I think uh, something kind of slick here is Skobak stole uh, Rocket's color for Falcon. Ooh, do you think that's a mind game? I think it is. <laughs> it's like Rocket has to defeat himself. <laughs> And keeping it simple once again, we'll see if he can get the edge guard. And he does. Just hold ledge, and that'll do it. I feel like he probably would have gotten it even if he didn't hold ledge. But better safe than sorry, right? Absolutely. All and right. uh, Skobak maintaining his space really well here, finally baiting Rocket into a bad approach. Um, quick and easy, just uh, putting him off stage, but probably just not punishing enough. I do like the option to go for a down air sometimes instead of um, instead of the up B because you know up B send them high give, gives them more options to recover. When you, when you down air them, it kind of puts them low. It gives you a better angle to edge guard. Yeah, I think against uh, definitely against like Kirby and Puff is like uh, they rely so much on their jumps and being above the stage that uh, once they're below, they're just much easier to deal with. Yeah. Kirby with not a lot in the means of vertical attacks, doesn't yeah. really have much to defend himself from below. Uh, whereas you get that Falcon down air and it's just... Oh, and that'll do it. But the almost suicide.